this has been a constant question that uh, that I had for myself and uh, my committee also had. And since 2015, I've been encountering this question at various AGMs, various meetings, and uh, a lot of our colleagues and friends who happen to drop into the office and meet me on and off shoots and ask me, "What is fear? What is the importance of fear? Why are we members of fear?" Why do you spend so much of money on uh, paying a monthly, uh, your sorry, a yearly retainer and uh, some kind of a fee to fear? And uh, so I just need to clarify a lot of things. In 2015, when we were all new babies, we came to this committee and we were just basically pure members of of Sintai. Uh, we would pay our subscriptions. Some of us were life members, and we just go to the uh, AGM. And uh, it's into some uh, very interesting poems and talks, and uh, eat lovely chole bhature and uh, uh, chicken sandwiches and dekhoda. That's what it. We realize that the world is shrinking. The importance of the globally relevant Indian actor is becoming even more prominent. Whether it's late Tom Puri, whether it's late Irfan Khan, Aisha Darker, Anil Kapoor, Ulshan Grover. Uh, Let the lips out, or whether it was Bharat uh, Dhawan and uh, Ali Fazal and Richard Chadha and uh, Tanishka Chatterjee and X Y Z, and including myself, who's or Darshan Jariwala, who done a lot of work abroad. We realize that yes, we need to make an international presence. After all, we are a big union. We produce the maximum amount of content in the world. The content that the Indian subcontinent produces. is four times that of US Canada UK France and Turkey put together and i'm including all the regional languages and i'm talking about across the board whether it is live performance whether it is the svod platform that's how i'd like to address it in india we address it as ott films television uh social media uh, theater dance uh, master of ceremonies uh, You know anything? We are as a presence in 86 countries, and I'm sure you guys will agree that lesser fortunate countries and smaller unions are also members of the. Obviously, they pay a less amount of affiliation fee because the affiliation fee is based on the number of members you have. We pay the fees as per our total database of members that we have. We are Federation of International Actors is the direct affiliate of Uni Global, and Uni Global is a part of Uni Mind. Uni Global is the world's biggest union of media entertainment professionals. So, under Uni Mind, Uni Global, you've got the Federation of International Relations, you've got the Federation of International Writers, Federation of International Actors, and these directly report. to the international labor organization the ilo headquarters are in geneva and uh, india when the ilo first was drafted in 1913 and after that in 19 uh, sorry 1990 india was one of the signatories india was one of the signatories initially when the beijing ipo now you will be wondering what is the beijing ipo what is the bpo treaty these are all technical jargon that i was also on there to come to The basic conclusion, the important thing is that the media and entertainment industry has grown hundredfold. We do not have one adversary, and I would not like to use the word adversary because none of the ecosystems are complete until the employer and employee relationship is on a golden handshake. To maintain the mechanism of collective bargaining, it is very important that an international body, which is uh, aware and which allies itself to international norms helps us regulate this dialogue in our subcontinent gone are the days when we had the national broadcaster dd1 dd2 or we had uh, the mama and papa shop producer today we have production houses international broadcasters huge fmcg and it conglomerates that run huge media corporations and they need to be spoken to in the corporate dialogue jargon 
that they used to. Gone are the days when we could say, Papa ji, paise de do, Papa ji, paise de do. We need to have a dialogue with a proper mechanism of a handshake. So, our affiliation to FIA, our election into the executive committee of FIA, our visiting the ILO headquarters very recently to have a dialogue wherein governments, employers and workers, workers that is us, were on the same platform to work out mechanisms for collective bargaining, for healthy existence and also what is the new status of the entire ecosystem and workspace post the COVID pandemic. Rome was not built in a day, my friend. It's a very old saying and it's being repeated constantly, but it's very relevant even now. We are in the process of actually putting forward our point of view, getting it across to the international stakeholders, the ILO, UNIMAI, and members of the Beijing Depot Treaty to please come and have a dialogue with our stakeholders, whether it is the Indian Broadcast Forum, the State Ministries, Central Ministry, the Cultural Ministry, the Labour Ministry, the Finance Ministry, the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, and the Skill Ministry, and recognize us who, in the last census, given more than 180,000 crores of rupees to the Indian Exchequer in terms of taxes. To be recognized as an industry, our professionals, our actors to be recognized as genuine professionals, genuine freelancers, like IT professionals, like chartered accountants, like doctors. IT professionals and computer engineers create software which is based on hypothesis. So do we. We create pieces of celluloid which start from the pen and finish with that the performance and we should be given the same status because at the end of the day, we are the biggest cultural ambassador of any country or any continent.